Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on these two powders right here. So everybody has been raving about the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting and Smoothing Powder, but I've also heard a lot of people say that the Sephora powder is a dupe for this. So we're gonna be putting these two to the test side by side, seeing how they perform on the face. I already went ahead and completed my makeup. So now we are just gonna go ahead and apply these powders on top and see what happens. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Kosas powder. I did pick this up during the Sephora sale. I'm still waiting for the rest of my Sephora order to come in so that I can do my haul, but stay tuned. Um, it's been coming like one by one. I don't know why. Like this came separate from my entire Sephora order, so. We'll just see what happens. But this is the Kosa's Cloud Set Bake Setting and Smoothing Powder in the shade Comfy, a sheer medium shade. This is supposed to give me a super smooth, no shine, all set finish. Um, it's ultra soft. It is a baked powder with skincare activities that help minimize shine and appearance, of course. You guys know that Kosas is a clean brand at Sephora. I actually am wearing right now my Kosas foundation. I love this stuff right here. And we're gonna be putting this to the test. I want to go ahead and see how much this costs. So this is $34. So it's definitely not the cheapest, but so many people rave about this. So I'm like, I have to try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and come in close and we're going to do this side with the Kosas powder. So I am just going to be taking the powder and let's see how this does. Ooh, that is really pretty. So I had some issues today with my blush, which is why I feel like there's a little bit of separation. So I'm hoping that these powders lock everything in, but wow, this definitely is looking beautiful. I love to use these pressed powders as finishing powders. I just feel like they really do a beautiful job of just locking everything into place for me. Wow. It's a very like smooth consistency, but when you go into your finger, you get like a very sheer finish. But with a brush, it gives you just the right amount of powder. I always like to go over my eyebrows, like I mentioned in my most recent review and wear test of the Estee Lauder Double Wear, just because I feel like my eyebrows tend to get a little dewy looking, so I feel like setting them with powder really takes them to the next level. But this is really beautiful. This is my first time trying this powder, so I'm like, wait, this is stunning. So this is the Kosas powder right here. Now let's go in with the Sephora base powder. So this is gonna serve more so as a brightening powder on me just because I did purchase the shade 25 beige. The shade above this looked a little too like orangey for me. So I was very in between, but I think the shade range, it's not the smallest shade range, but I definitely feel like they could add more undertones. So let me actually go ahead and open this because I literally just purchased this in store. I know this does retail for $20, so it's about $14 cheaper than the one by Kosas. So this is what it looks like. So this would be more so brightening tone. I may end up getting the next shade up, even though it does look a little bit warm. It may end up working out for like when I do have a little bit of a tan, but um, let's get into this situation so this is a micro smooth multitasking baked face powder just like the one by kosas that it is that baked powder consistency you guys can see obviously color is going to be different but um you guys can see how that looks and look at the difference of having the powder on here and not having anything on here like you definitely feel like everything here looks much smoother especially like on my texture i love that finish so this is the multitask bake face powder and this is a powder that gives a lightweight buildable coverage to even skin tone and set and enhance your look so you can even also use this as just kind of like a powder foundation if you want to i do feel like with bake powders you get more of like a sheer finish than with like just a pressed smooth powder um so this for me is more so of like a finishing powder product um, it's also a buildable coverage to even skin tone and set and enhance your look with a naturally radiant finish. Um, it is light coverage, like I mentioned. It does contain green tea extract. And it's a versatile powder worn alone as a light buildable foundation or applied on top of a liquid complexion to brighten, contour, bronze, and finish your makeup look. Um, so let's go ahead and see how this does. I'm going to be taking another fluffy brush. 
And I'm gonna be going with this. Ooh. That really, whoa, that like blurred out right here so well. I feel like this color will look really nice as almost a like under eye brightening powder just because it is more so of a brighter consistency for me. But this powder is also really good. I use this brush right here, one of my favorite powder brushes. This is the e.l.f. face powder. And I'm just going to go over top of everything. They honestly look similar. Let's go over the nose. The nose area. Sometimes need some good powder over it. But wow. Here's what I'm thinking, just first impressions. I feel like the Sephora Collection powder Everything looks much more airbrushed and smooth and almost like a matte finish. As opposed to the Kosas powder, I feel like you get more natural results. You can still see the skin. It looks like it's one with the skin. Um, but I feel like this, if you want more so like that flawless filter like finish, I feel like with the Sephora collection powder, you can get that right away. And I like this finish, but once I went in with this, I was like, wait, it gives you more of that natural finish, which it does claim to give you a nice, just like smoothing ultra just natural finish that looks like skin you know that looks like you have nothing else on the skin so it's pretty but i definitely do feel like if you want more coverage and maybe you're somebody that has oily skin that wants it to look a little bit more matte and in place this may be better for you this is really impressive which one do you think looks better i have to say this is really interesting i just feel like this gave me a more like She's like super like full coverage and like matte and ready for the day. This gives me more like natural results. So just really depends on what you want. They also don't feel heavy whatsoever. They feel just really nice and smooth. And I definitely do appreciate that. I will show you guys how both of these powders look in natural lighting so that you guys can get a little bit of that content before I start the day and see how this does. Right now it is 1 p.m. So we got a little bit of a later start, but we're gonna be wearing this for the entire day, see how this performs on the skin. Um, and then we can decide, you know, if we think this Sephora one is a dupe for this. So far it has a lot of similarities, but I definitely do think that it just really depends on what you're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and see you guys during my natural lighting clip and then of course at the end of the day for my final thoughts. So stay tuned, keep watching, especially if you've been really interested in the Sephora dupe for the Kosa's powder. Okay guys, so I'm doing the in natural lighting clip and on this side we have the Kosa's powder, which you guys can see what it looks like. And then on this side we have the Sephora powder. And to be honest, I feel like in natural lighting, they look very, very similar. I will say I kind of like how this looks. I feel like it looks a little bit smoother than the Kosas. But honestly, I'm not seeing anything too, too different from either sides. I feel like they both look very similar. Obviously, I think that in the evening when we see how these develop, we'll be able to really tell the difference between them. But right now, they're looking very similar. So, Kosas and Sephora. Okay guys, so I am back. Right now it is 5 p.m. and I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts on these powders. So, on this side right here, we have the Kosas powder. And on this side right here, we have the Sephora powder. And honestly guys, Looking up close, I can't really tell the difference. I feel like they look so similar. And to be completely honest with you guys, sorry, the the lighting is changing just because it's evening. You guys know in the evening that the lighting switches out a lot. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, this powder to me looks slightly better than this. If you want more full coverage, I would say go with the Sephora one. If you want something a little bit more sheer and not as full coverage, then maybe go in with this one. If you're somebody that likes very light, light, light natural makeup, light powder, 
you probably will like the Kosas. Um, if you want something that can really serve as a really good setting powder, I think you're going to love this. I'm very impressed with this. I know a lot of people rave about the Sephora powder. It is honestly a really good powder. And I like the fact that this powder offers you really good pigmentation. So not only are you getting like really good results on the skin, but you're also getting really good coverage, especially if you do want that coverage added. This powder, I just, there's something about it that really offers you really good pigmentation that I love. And I feel like with the Kosas one, I get more so of like that natural pigment. So this is Sephora. And then this right here is Kosas. You guys can barely see that coverage. Like you really have to press it in to get like a lot of pigmentation. So if you like more of that natural finish, you're gonna like this because you really had to press it harder. If you want more full coverage right away, you're gonna love the Sephora one. So it just really depends on your preference, but I think that if you are looking for a more affordable alternative to the Kosas one, you save yourself $14 by getting the Sephora one. It's really good. Um, I also feel like if you want that more full coverage finish, that more like flawless filter-esque, you're really gonna like that, but there's not really much severe difference. I just feel like this even sets a little prettier than this one right here, but... That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really enjoyed sitting down today and doing this little dupe video. Um, if you guys have any other products that you would want me to dupe, let me know. I can definitely check them out. I feel like it's always interesting to kind of see how products work, which one's better, which one's worse. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys did watch this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know to continue doing these type of videos for you guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. I love interacting with you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.